Hi guys, it's Winifred, and yes, I am finally back. As you all might have seen if you watch ASMR videos, I did one uh, a couple of days ago or a day ago or whatnot. Yeah, so I've been off for a couple of weeks, mainly to get myself together. I've got a few projects that I'm working on, and also I've decided definitely, without a doubt, this year I am going back to work because as of March, it would be three years that <laughs> I've been off of work. Um, I decided to quit my job three years back. Some of you know uh, I quit my job in 2013 to take some time off, regroup, connect with my friends. And actually, I was fortunate enough to be able to do that. But guys, I am not swimming in the dough and I did not win that billion dollar lottery. So <laughs> I do have to go back to work. Um, yeah, but you know, before I do go back to work, I wanted to get a few things straightened around here and I still have a lot to go. But one of the things that has been ongoing is going through my crazy makeup collection and weeding out stuff. And guys, I have been absolutely positively brutal as far as going through um, my makeup. Um, there are things that I like and I have liked but it's like I bought two and three and four backups of them and I don't need all of that. I didn't need all of that. And then there's some things that I bought because I like the color, but being honest, they weren't items that I was gonna wear on a daily basis. So I'm just going to show you this big bag that I have so far. This is full of items that I am giving to, yeah, you, my viewers, friends, and family. This is all makeup, and this is sad. And I'm not even finished. This is why it's been taking me kind of a long time to get my appreciation gifts out. I haven't forgotten about it. and But I just want it to be really thorough because I do not want to come back into my makeup stash again and start weeding out yet more. So... Um, I'm really trying to be brutal and just to show you how brutal I am, I have two MAC, well not just two, but these are just a couple that I grabbed. This um, bronze, it's kind of like a Sally Hansen mousse, um, kind of like a bronzing for your body. Well you all, I got like five or six of these. I do not need this. This has never been opened, never been used. It's gone. I mean, I don't need it. I have like probably five of them. So I'm getting rid of that. I have an extra one or two of these. This was really, oh God, I don't want to tear the box, but I really did, and I still do because I have it like this. This is like a shimmer. And it's a nice bronzy, kind of like almost an oil. And I'm not going to squirt it. I'm not going to do anything with it because I've, it's never been unlocked, never been used. And uh, yeah, this is going. I kind of know who I'm giving this to. One or the other, Coco. <laughs> you know who you are. Um, But yeah, so I'm... Bear with me. I haven't forgotten anything. I haven't forgotten who I've promised certain things to. So, yeah, I'm just trying to be very, very thorough. And I never want to get myself in this situation ever again. So, <laughs> um, without further ado, let's just get to the empties, which this is really supposed to be about. So, going through some of my makeup, guys... This so far is some of my back to Mac and I'm not going to go through every single thing that I'm getting rid of because I have a whole nother back to Mac bag, Sephora bag in my bedroom. But this is just what I went through this week and it's is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight empty containers of Mac items that I will be back to Mac in, including, um, the ones that I have in my bedroom. So yeah, like I said, I'm going through this brutally. So if there's lipsticks that I'm not using, I'm not gonna pass on lipsticks to you all unless they have never been used. So if I get some back to Mac lippies 
and um, I happen to throw that into your appreciation box or whatever, that's what I'll do. That's that's the only way that I'll give away lippies, unless it's to like my friends or family. But to you all, I will only give you lippies if they have never been used. Um, so let's get into this other stuff. You all know I'm a candle nut, so I used yet two more of um, the candles that I got from Walgreens when they have that sale. You know I do that every year. This one is a Passion Punch and then this one is the Coconut Buttercream. Both of these are very nice scents. The Coconut Buttercream to me is almost just like the vanilla one. You can burn this with anything and it just goes with everything. The coconut as well as the vanilla. So that got rid of two more candles. Y'all know I'll be going back on my mad binge to get to replenish my um, candles. Excuse the way this looks, but this is my Becca uh, 24 hour. Um, I think this is ultimate coverage, yeah. And tobacco, finally finished that. I went through bio oil. Oh, by the way, this I would repurchase. I would repurchase the Becca and tobacco. This is full coverage though. Um, like you all know, I don't use full coverage unless I'm like filming and I've got like a really smoky eye and then your face just absolutely has to be flawless. That's the only time I use a full coverage. You all know that. I mean, on a daily basis, I don't put on foundation. Like today, I don't have on foundation. I just have on a little bit of um, powder. That's it. Okay, so the bio oil. I like this. I will replenish this. Um, actually, I think I have another one somewhere in the house. Um, so I would replenish this. What I did with this, guys, is I mixed this with some of my lotions. You all know I mix some of my lotions that do not have that 24-hour stain period or they're not really hydrating. I tend to mix them with the oil, be it vitamin E or uh, the rose, the rose water and the glycerin I mix it with that to make it stretch a little bit so that's what I did with this bio oil I really wanted to get through that so that's done um bare back and body guys done with this this is really good if you have one well, a backache of course but this is really good if you have sore muscles from like working out and I didn't use all of this my brother uses as well um so I love this. I will definitely repurchase this. And I have repurchased this a few times. Uh, my Crest toothpaste. Done with that. Ugh, guys, and I am done with yet another Bond cologne. This is not one of my two that I had for um, a Pam project. But this, I'm still happy to be done with this. This is Manhattan. And I love this. I would repurchase it, but as you all know, as I've said before, and I'm keeping to this, I have so much cologne. I do not, as of yet, need to replenish cologne. So I think I'm going to go on for one more year of a no buy because Lord knows I have enough where I do not need to buy cologne for another year. I, I can I can swing it. So done with this. Um, this is one of those like glow sticks, this Revlon and guys, it's, it's done. I mean, it's not as moist as it was, so I'm just getting rid of it. And I have a Mac one. So this is an Alme mascara. I'm done with that. Um, don't need to repurchase it. This is a Blistex Medex lip balm. Yeah, I will repurchase this. As, as a matter of fact, I have some that I'm using, like a half of one. And um, yeah, that's been helping with my lips. So I'm done with this. I will repurchase. This, you all know how I love shimmers and glimmers and all that kind of thing, lotions and potions. Well, this one was a, a L'Oreal um, bronze kind of like. And yeah, I came in this jar. I used it a couple of times and it was dried out. So I'm like, nah, I don't need to keep it because I have plenty 
of that kind of thing. Then this almost hurts my soul, but guys, but this is a um, a blush from Lancome, and you can see I this is full. I didn't even use this hardly, and yeah, it comes out a little bit. A little bit of it comes off. You can swatch it, and I could probably still use it, but I don't want to. So I'm done with that. I'm throwing this out. Um, I have quite a few mascaras, guys, and little tester ones. This uh, is the Voluminous Million Lash. You all know I like this. This, I think, was a uh, Million Lash Diamonds. I'm done with this. You know, I always that this and the telescopic and the voluminous, those are staples. I love those. So, yeah. Um, and then here's another million lash. This one is in a blue shade and I'm done with that. And actually, I have another one. So I bought like two of them at a time. I have another one that I haven't even opened yet. So I'll be jumping into that. This guy's is a Chanel mascara but this was so cool because what it was and I don't know if you can see it is it's like a metallic -y kind of frosty thing and what I did with this is I would apply my regular black mascara but just apply this to the tips and um, it's just a cool especially around the holidays it was just so cool and I would just put it on the tips and it just gives your tips a little frost, silver frost. Um, then I'm done with this, guys. This is the Chapstick hyd Hydration. Now, let me say, I liked this, but I don't know if it was just me or whatever. I could run through this so I don't know quickly. If it's just because it's just so soft and that's why you could go through it really, really quickly. But I did. I think I think I went through this in two weeks and I hardly ever two or three weeks and I hardly ever go through a lip balm that quickly. But this one you have to like constantly reapply. Um, I wouldn't say that this is something that you have to bust your butt to get. If you want to try it, yeah, but I wouldn't say that this is something that you have to bust your behind to get. I don't see where it does anything any different. Uh, and I'll just leave that one alone. That's all I'm going to say on that one. But um, try it. If some of you tried it and you saw where it made a big, big difference in your lips, let me know. Uh, I find that it didn't make too much of a difference in mine. Okay, this. Glycerin. And rose water love this love this love this and did I mention that it's um, not expensive this is really good to um, lock in that moisture in your skin I've used this on my face I've used it on my body and I will repurchase this and this is only it's under 10 bucks I'm pretty sure it's under 10 bucks I got this one from Walgreens but I do not think that they carry that any longer, so I'll probably have to go to like a health food store and get it. But um, yeah, I love this. This gives your skin a nice glow. And again, this is something good to use if um, you have moisturizers that aren't performing to as high as you would like them to perform. Say, it's not. They're not lasting. The full day this is good for that because this does last the full day and definitely coupled with a moisturizer very very good the only thing I would say about this one is that it does have a faint rose scent and I'm not really a rose person so I didn't use this during the day I use it at night so yeah might want to keep that in mind and if you get just plain glycerin plain glycerin is a lot thicker than that that's just like almost just like water so then I have um, a lip balm that I got from Lush that I use finish that up and now I won't have to rebuy that uh, let's see this is just a tester a Smashbox um, 
mascara done with that. This was a nice lipstick from Sephora. I used the heck out of this. Now this I used up and I loved it. It's a, a nice neutral shade and yeah, well, you know what? I would buy it if I knew what it was, but half the label came off, so not a biggie. I got enough lippies that I don't need to bust my behind and get that. Um, and this is a Mary Kay mascara that I'm done with. I'm trying to use, go through all these testers, guys. This is a Bobbi Brown older mascara that I've had for a while and like I'm not putting that on my eyes. And this is a another Sephora lippy that I had. And um, yeah, this one was a old. I used quite a bit of it, but this was smelling, starting to smell old. You know how it has that kind of like smell? So yeah, done with that. Um, and then only a few more items, guys. And then I'm done with this. Okay. So this is kind of like a, I guess this was like a cream um, shadow, eyeshadow or highlight. Well, I guess you could still use it, but it's a cream and I've had it for a while. So I'm just getting rid of that. Um, and this is another tester mascara that I am getting rid of guys. And I can't even, I don't even know who this was. Oh, Elizabeth Arden. And I have got so many Urban Decay zeros and perversion. I found another one and finished using up it. So, I mean, I like buy these. It seems like I buy them in bulk. So, um, I'm not going to buy another black uh, liner because it seems like when I was going through my makeup drawer, I pulled out another two um, liners, zero. The, the color zero, Urban Decay, 24-7. So I don't need to buy any more because I've got like Smashbox and um, MAC and other black liners that I really need to get through before I go out and buy the things that I really love, which are the, the perversion and zero. So that is it as far as my empties. And I'm really happy about that, guys. Really happy got through a lot of products. So, yeah. Now, I wanted to touch base on the fitness challenge and how we're coming. I'm so happy to <laughs> announce that, yeah, I've lost a few pounds, lost a few inches. Um, and thank you all for uh, a couple of you have noticed that my face has slimmed down a little bit. But, guys, I'm so happy about this. In December, I went for... Uh, um, I had a meeting and I wanted to wear this blazer <laughs> and I went to put it in and it was so tight around the arms I couldn't wear it okay so this month just like this past week I tried that blazer on again guys I got in it so I'm losing weight I wasn't able to button it up but I was able to at least get both my arms in it and actually wear it so um, I'm losing up through here and it seems like the pattern with me, if I, when I uh, start to lose weight, I lose it up top first and um, I wish I could lose it on the bottom first, but hey, I'll take it anywhere I can get it. So yeah, um, and Winston and I, we have been working out on, well, I have, uh, I'm not going to, I'm not going to comment for Winston. <laughs> but I have been working out downstairs and I want to take pictures and Instagram and do a video down there, but I just want to clean out everything so we don't look like total slobs when we go to do it. But yeah, I'm really, really, really enjoying this and I am since I've been working out and drinking at least 64 ounces of water a day. I've noticed a difference in my skin and how I feel is like I have a little bit more energy so yeah I'm really enjoying this and I can't wait to start making more videos on that which we will which we will do and so I'm happy to announce 
I have seen progress with the first month, guys. And so that's what we're looking for. Um, so yeah, I'm going to come back maybe today, maybe tomorrow with another with another video. I'm going to do um, a makeup basket which will last me through Valentine's because I want to do some looks with um, red and lilac and all that other kind of thing. I don't think there'll be tutorials because my eyes, I'm having a little bit of problem seeing up close. Um, we'll see, but I will definitely do some faces of the day when I'm coming on to do other videos. Okay, guys, so it's real good to be back. I love you all and I missed you. And yeah, I'll talk to you real soon. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, um, see where a couple of people follow, follow me on Spotify. So look up on my channel, my banner, and I have the Spotify uh, little emblem on the end. Hit that and follow me on Spotify because I have some workout um, playlists that are really good. They really help me through a workout. So yeah. I'll talk to you real soon, guys. Bye-bye.